Come on, Roadkill. We're bringing Pro Street back to America. Oh, that's the RPM we need. Yeah. Pro Street Madness, the best hide and seek game ever. And we win our first burnout contest. Woo! Look at that pink car. Very flannelly today. It's that time of year. Yeah, very lumberjack of you. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, this is cool. This is not what I expected. I had no idea we we're going to like a Mopar Racing Emporium. These are actual nice cars. This time we are going 90s Pro Street style. We're here at Wesley Motorsports in Lansing, Michigan, and we're picking up a gem of a car that I have never even seen before. Oh, it's not pink. It's not? No, it's like raspberry. Oh, you're right. It's got pearl on it, doesn't it? I thought it was a pink car, which would have been totally fine with me. This is pink. It just has purple pearl. I obviously have never seen this in person. Oh, it's grosser than I thought. Look at the interior. It's a little too absorbent for my taste. No, no, no. That's going to be <laughs> comfy. Like, when we're, like, freezing to death on the side of the road, we will be comfortable in there. It does look comfy. All I really want to know is what's under the hood, and is there a heater? It does smell like mold a little bit. Not as bad as our norm. We know how to fix that. There we go. Oh, velocity stack. Oh, dude, it's not a 440. This is an it's Oldsmobile, a... dude. What? No, it's not. This is not a 440. It's not? No, it's not an Oldsmobile. It's a 383 Mopar. Oh, the valve covers are throwing me off. They're shaped very similar to a 455 Oldsmobile valve cover. Uh, but, then, but then there's the distributor in the... <laughs> yes. Yeah. I thought it was a 440, but it doesn't have the pad right here. It's under the distributor, so it's a 3D3 or even a 361, and it looks bone stock. Look, it's an iron intake. Does have headers. Don't let that distract you from the fact that at one time, this was a show car. Look, the firewall is color matched. This was a nice car. Oh, look, it's got the hood scoop funneling the rain directly down the velocity stack. Oh, dude, precision. Look how it kind of looks like an overinflated 79 Mustang. It's like the same style as a, as a Fox Coupe, but... Yeah, it looks like an 80s kind of T-Bird looking thing right here in this area. What we're looking at here is a 1980 Dodge Murata. It's a J-body, the same as like a Chrysler Cordoba. They only made these things from 1980 to 1983, and they were like the final fling for a rear-wheel drive V8 car for Chrysler at the time. As a matter of fact, these were only available with a small block, and this thing has a big block in it, so somebody did a swap. Way back when, they tried to race these in NASCAR, but they were a dismal failure. The body style looks so like 1979 Fox body, but larger. It's super weird. This particular one had to have been modified circa 1991 or 1992. That's the only explanation for like the raspberry pink paint and the heartbeat graphic on the side, and of course, the big schnoz hood scoop. This thing is pure 1990s Pro Street. Why would we buy this car? Well, aside from just the general because roadkill, I have been like craving a Pro Street car, and when I came across this thing, it wasn't really the style that I wanted, but it immediately flashed me back to my earliest days as a staffer on Hot Rod Magazine. I remember my first Street Machine Nationals in Decoin, Illinois in 1992, and the whole place <laughs> looked like this. And so what we're gonna do is pick this thing up here at Wesley Motorsports in Lansing, Michigan, and drive it all the way to DeCoin, Illinois. And it's gonna rain the entire time, which will be great on those big fat Pro Street tires. And in DeCoin, we're actually gonna go to the fairgrounds where the whole Pro Street thing started. The DeCoin fairgrounds is like the Mecca. In the old days, they would get three or 4,000 Pro Street cars down there. Now, I have to answer for a lot of you, what is Pro Street? I've discovered that some of the younger people have no idea. Well, what it means is the car is tubbed, meaning the rear wheel tubs have been replaced with semi-circular, giant, you know, half a trash can looking tubs to hold big, fat meats. That's it. Pro Street is tubbed. Your Pro Touring car is not Pro Street. Your Drag Week typical car is not Pro Street. This is Pro Street. Okay, starting fluid, you want to make it actually run?
does sound like the ignition shuts off. Where's the ballast resistor? Aha, that's why. That's disconnected. Oh. That explains it. I fixed it. Man, it's a genius. They don't even need this. Hey, it's got fuel. Wow, it even idles. We're good to go. That sounds remarkably good. We're doing burnouts. You don't want to look in the radiator. It's mostly rust. OK. Did you like my ace repair? Uh, that was impressive. This is full. Because I don't even know what a ballast resistor does. It's a resistor to reduce voltage to the coil for the electronic ignition. OK. And when you're cranking, they bypass it so it's full voltage. And when you let go, it goes through that ballast resistor. So when it was disconnected, it was shutting off the ignition as soon as I stopped cranking. I'm not going to pretend I still understand that, because I still don't. I want to see the suspension. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not done well. No? It is back halved with a rectangular tube. Is it going to break in half? And it does have a gas tank out of who knows what mounted sideways between the wheels. And it has a pan hard, but it's on leaf springs. How was this ever driven enough to get the rear end that dirty? This is a ProTrack 445. This has a lot of wheel well room. You could probably put a three inch wider tire in it with the right wheel. I'm so confident in it. I'm just gonna get in and buckle up. And if you have to do any backing up, just uh, let me know. Ooh, like I'm driving a couch. Ooh, power steering works. Wonder if the brakes work. It sounds like a motorhome, but it looks like a race car. Kinda. Okay. Ready? We need to test it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it does need to just warm up. Maybe if I eject the cassette. Merle Haggard, wow! wow. I wouldn't Why? have expected that. Dude, me neither. Maybe I can drive it in circles while we're warming it up. This thing's a roach. <laughs> All right, it's warming up now. It's starting to get good. It did do something. I don't know if that's tire smoke or coming from the crankcase. I'm though. not sure either. <laughs> Dude, this is a motor. Oh. What did you just do? I don't know. <laughs> Felt like something fell out of the bottom of this car. <laughs> yeah, it did. Maybe it needs to go the other way. I don't think it's going to run better going the other way. <laughs> there we go. We're out of here. It's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> That's on the floor. That does not run good at all. It runs pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> that needs some help. Wow. <laughs> 